the puck is down. Fashing sends it deep. And away we go. Allen Fury, Butch Goring, Thomas Hickey with you. He's between the benches as the Islanders wrap up a brief two-game homestand. They have scored the first goal at five straight, but right away from the bottom of the circle, the Wild take the lead. 19 seconds in, Pat Maroon steps into one, and he goes top shelf on Varlamov. Minnesota Wild just get the puck in deep, a little chip and chase. Polino gets in on the puck in a hurry, and the Islanders three guys behind the net, and a tough angle shot for Varlamov as he turns to his right. He's not even watching, and that's Maroon that goes up and over the shoulder. Alec go behind the net to the far side. Islanders will break it out with this pass miss pass Joe. Turned back the other way by Brody. Marco Rossi, and he scored in back-to-back -back games. Drops it up, and a tough angle shot. Turned aside by Varlamo. Got that one from Matt Boldy, and again, he missed seven games due to an upper body injury. He's back for his third consecutive game on the ice. Wild on a three-game road trip. He'll play three games over four days in the state of New York. Moving on to Madison Square Garden on Thursday and then in Buffalo on Friday. Boldy up the wall. Rodina across. Kaprizov floats one towards the net. Battle in front. Pelic went down. Varlama trying to locate it. Still loose and Wallstrom. The last ditch effort's going to backhand it all the way down. Oh, well, Minnesota has allowed a power play goal in six of its last seven games. The New York Islanders power play one for eight over its last four. There's Nelson in the Barzell driving the net and a backhand shot just missed. And it's picked up in stride by Brandon Duhame. And he'll take it one on two through the neutral zone. Challenged by Dobson, got a shot off. Varlama. Zuccarello took a hit from Sezik as we gave the puck to Kaprizov. He loads and fires one off Scott Mayfield's left. Both Scott Mayfield and Adam Pellick playing tonight. Turning shot, this one winds up behind Varlamov's net. And another penalty call. Trying to find Polino at the doorstep. Nelson closes in on him. Eric Sinek shot misses. Around on the near side, Middleton threw it to the net. Varlamov had to make a save. Islanders trying to get it out. Finally, Engvall does, but it came right to Middleton. Nice job by that Eric Sinek line. of just simple hockey, using the back of the net uh, as an out for themselves. Physical, strong along the boards and getting the puck to the net. Lee with a takeaway. Wallstrom driving and a shot shrugged away. And he'll march out to center, angles it off the near wall. Closing in on him is Hunt. And Kalen Addison behind the net. And he's squeezed against the wall by Fashing, who creates a turnover. Fashing to the front, and a bouncing puck is loose. Still loose in front, now to the corner. Rifle to center by Romanov, touched in Matt Martin. Butterbuck goes in hard after it, and he'll create a turnover. Pass to Dobson, he scores! Noah Dobson with the slap shot, and the Islanders tie it up. Of course, it's Noah Dobson. Simple play, though, just get it in. And as we've seen so many times, the Sezikis line gets in on the forecheck. Clutterbuck takes his man out. Matt Martin is there. Sezikis is helping out. Okay, let it get back to Noah. And he just sends a howitzer towards the net that beats Flurry. Simple hockey, great result. Simple hockey. Romano finds Polak in a soft spot. Punks doesn't shoot. Holmstrom in front. Redirects. And somehow Flurry, while falling over, made the stop. Wild in, Boldy from Kaprizov, sends it back in a shot, found the iron and skyrockets out of play. That was Jonas Brodin who went stick side on Barlamov. Like to jump up on the play, especially Brodin and Wild were able to hang on to that puck just, just long enough. Angball crosses in and then he'll curl and wait. Pass intended for Ajo and that's redirected out. And I gotta make sure on that pass. Engvall back in, has Wallstrom, he tries to drive to the net, he scores! What a play for Oliver Wallstrom! The Islanders have their first lead of the night! Move after a pass from Engvall, and just gets it around to his forehand, and we've seen him snap it before, watch the move, get it to the forehand, bang, right up on the top hand corner, in the toy department. Tremendous goal from Oliver Wallstrom. That's the ability that this young player has. And it's good to get the power play go. Barzell again. Four on four continuing for 20 seconds. Hold on. Turns on the backhand. Flashy move. And he goes glove side. Flurry was ready for it. Their lead.
pass is Hartman and Clutterbuck storm out of the box. Hartman immediately got the pass and he came off his stick. Wound around, Brodine to Boldy, one timer, and that one changes directions. Back up to the point, Brody. Favors all alone this way. Favor walks down the wall. And then he's closed in on by Pajot. Here's Letary, a shot, they score! That may have been deflected in front, but Vinny Letary from the deep slot has tied the game with just under eight minutes to go in the second period. There were bodies in front, but Letary is the first one through the handshake line. Um, the Wild controlling the puck, getting going from point to point. And watch this shot from the from the point as he turns around, creates a little time and space in front of the net, and uh, certainly Barlamov is is screen looking for a way to find the puck. I've seen this now about five times, a ton of it in the first period. That's a forward playing up top. First it was Matt Boldy. We'll continue to show you an example. So the Islanders continue to pressure. A long shot by Holmstrom's kick back, and now a hook. The Islanders will have a power play. Flurry still without his stick. Islanders have an extra attacker. Here's Pajot. Flurry makes the stop, and it's stuck to him. Two goals for each side on 22 shots. Wild haven't had a shot on goal in the power play yet tonight. Zuccarello, soft spot between the circles for Rossi. And out high, Johansson to Zuccarello. Back through, what time are they score? Kirill Kaprizov. Minnesota takes a 3-2 lead on the power play and for Kirill Kaprizov, his fourth goal of this season. That's now 12 points in 12 games this year. It was knocked down in front of the net, and then this time they're able to, to get it through. You can see there's the first opportunity to get it through. You gotta shade him just a little bit more, and the Islanders give him too much room, and he just drills it up and over the glove of Barlamov. No chance there as it gets right through the seam, and Barley gets a piece of it, but just not enough. Not many guys can get that much wood on it. Flicks it ahead for Eric Sinek, although your angle is the one who settles this down. Hang balls under attack, though he's got to be careful. Maroon's going to take it away. Pat Maroon to the doorstep. They score. A turnover in the Islanders' zone costs them. And it's Erickson Eck to make it 4 2. Yeah, just trying to do just a little bit too much. And that ball gets stripped of the puck by Erickson Eck. And, uh, excuse me, by Pat Maroon. They don't win three, be part of three Stanley Cups. And look at it, he just never quit. Stays with it, never takes a penalty. Finally wins the battle and gets his head up in a hurry. And, yeah, those ones, those ones can't happen. I understand the mindset from Engvall. He Islanders had a 2-1 lead in this hockey game. Uh-oh, look out here. 2-1-1. On Dewar goes low, and Borlamov isn't exactly sure, but knows it's underneath of him somewhere, and he'll hold on and get the whistle. Again, another mistake by the Islanders. Give up a 2-on-1 after giving up two goals and shoots the puck, and Barley's just able to squeeze it just, just enough. See where this puck was when the referee makes a call. I can't see it. Uh, Barley's got it. Another two-on-one developing for the Wild. Patty Cartman in has Johansson. He elects to shoot it himself. Barlava got down on his bats and made the save. Off the face off. Zaho across. Pull on shot knocked down. Spun to the front, comes all the way through, and that'll do it tonight. So the Islanders still have not beaten Minnesota at home since February of 2019.